Hi guys, this is Angie from Don't Pay Retail Thrift, and I have another thrift haul for you to share. Um, so I'm going to start with the, I showed you the Spode tiered tray that I got in the last video. Um, I thought it was brand new, and it looks like the plates are brand new, um, but when I opened it up and started to wash it off and put it together, it is missing whatever little piece here goes down into the bigger plate whatever holds it in on the bottom so I'm guessing it wasn't brand new um, but it's in excellent condition and um, I actually have my husband looking for a little it probably I think it just needs like a bolt um, to hold it down although it would have to be flat for the plate to sit flat so I'm not sure what it looks like originally um, what the piece looks like but um we can definitely find something to put it together, but um, I was pleased with it. It looked, it was in really excellent shape, and I feel like I got a good deal on it. And I'm probably going to keep it for myself, so that's fine. And then, uh, of course, I did forget um, to show you something that was in the last video, and I think it was sitting right there on the table when I was saying I don't think I forgot anything, but it was this bag. Um, I got it at ARC, and I did pay $2.99 because yellow was not the half price color. But when I got it, I saw the red deer in it, and I re wasn't really wanting the deer necessarily, because I have about three or four that look similar to this already. But um, there was one of the little Santa Clauses in there, the vintage dancing Santa, the kicking boot Santa that I like to call him. And he looked like he was in kind of rough shape, so I really was almost didn't get the bag. But I saw these picks, and they looked like they were still in there, still like in their original packaging. So let me grab one out. I hate that I have to do this one-handed. Um, but they had a Hong Kong sticker on them. And maybe it'll focus, maybe it won't. Um, but they were just little Santa Claus picks and his red almost looks like glitter as opposed to like the the felted stuff like this. It almost looks glittery. I don't know if you can see it in the in the video, but um, and I noticed they were all still stapled, so they haven't been pulled out of the plastic. So technically, they were new, new vintage, but they were really cute. Um, so I grabbed those because I can definitely. That's mainly why I decided to go ahead and get the bag. I actually took it to the register, and I was like, oh, I'm thinking about this one. I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, there's one, two. Let's see how many are in there. three and I think they're all the same but they're the same little little Santa so there's three four oh shoot let's just do it that way five I wasn't sure how many was in it when I grabbed the bag it was hard to tell so there was five I guess okay so that's not bad I mean for three dollars um five little Santas which I thought were so cute and I'll definitely stick them somewhere or maybe down in plant or just you know, I have no idea. Crap with them or stick them on the tree. And then I was surprised when I got the reindeer out. Um, his antlers are kind of messed up. Like, I think this one needs to be fixed a little bit. It looks like it got pushed in a little bit on the top of his head. Like, maybe I can fix it without breaking it. But I liked his little bell necklace. And then his feet were like, I guess someone wrapped them in, in uh, floral tape and had him sticking in something. But, um, so I'm wondering, he probably doesn't stand. But I'll definitely keep him. I have, like I said, I have, a, I think about, I have a couple other red ones that I have thrifted before and I kind of fixed because they were, but this one actually, the felting, uh, flocking or felting, whatever you call it on this one, actually looks in pretty good shape. Um, and I think he's just got stickers for eyes, but you have to be careful not to lose them. But he was cute. He was worth um, being in the bag too. And then the Santa... Actually, let me sit the phone down and grab the Santa out. Alright. So the Santa was also stuck. His feet are in rough shape. But you can just easily cover that with black marker. He's not in too bad a shape. His face looks alright. Um, got a little damage. That looks just like something on the top of his hat. little damage there. But he was apparently stuck in a floral arrangement too. 
so he can't stand either. But like I said, I could, I could just do that with him. I have quite a few of these. I have one that's in really, really, really good shape, which is the main one that I that I like and I'll and I'll keep. So I definitely, you know, he's that's not bad. That wasn't a bad bag for three dollars, and I have this in it, which I will just throw away because it's these are pretty, um, the little silk ornaments, but it's definitely it's definitely had better days. Um, Alright, so I got those. Like I said, that's what I left behind last time. And then um, I have a couple things that I got from I think when I was thrifting in Alabama that I never did show because I had I had packed them up and I had to bring them home like a year or so later. But um, two of them were these. I found two of these Providence Lithograph Company Lithos made in USA. Um, and that says Fredericks, but this is like a scene of, um, this is probably bigger than 11 by 14. Um, not quite sure, but it's a picture of the North Star, and I'm thinking this is maybe supposed to be Mary and Joseph, although I thought they rode on donkeys to have, to give to Bethlehem for Jesus' birth, but I'm not sure, but it's a beautiful picture, and on the back, this was really interesting when I turned them over. Um, these were made by Beginner Bible Story, be, or publishers of Beginner Bible Story, Beginner Teacher, and Beginner Teaching Pictures. But um, it was a Southern Baptist Sunday School Service program, Beginner Teaching Pictures. So I guess these were um, part of a Sunday School teachings from the Southern Baptist Convention, um, which I thought was pretty cool, and it was dated here, which I don't think it's going to focus but it was dated 1959. And then on the back it had a way in a manger and the music uh, notes, which was really kind of cool. I was thinking of framing these, but it's kind of cool that the back is here too. Um, but I just thought that was really pretty, and I, I think I paid like 50 cents a piece. I can't remember. I thought I got a couple more, but I guess I didn't, or I have I have put them away and I haven't found them yet. Um but then this one was my favorite. This is um, just a picture of Mary and Jesus and Joseph and the three wise men bringing their gifts. It doesn't look like they're in a in a in, the, in a manger, but I mean a a barn. But um, it was still a really pretty picture. Um, and then on the back of this one, instead of having music, it just has. Matthew 2, 1 through 11, um, Baby Jesus' Company. And it's the same thing. It's just one of the beginner teacher Sunday school, Baptist Sunday school convention. But I thought that was really cool. I thought those were very pretty. Um, growing up, I did go to some Bap to Baptist churches and Methodist churches. Um, and they had did have some good, great Sunday school. So I'm assuming this was something they used um, in teaching Sunday school, which is really cool. Interesting. A couple other things I got when I was there that I hadn't gotten put away was this Christmas Carol book. Uh, I just thought that was really cute with the graphics on the front with the little girl singing. Um, the back is just another pretty picture. And um, this, I it was in pretty rough shape, but I thought I would craft with it. Or I might, I don't know, it's just really pretty. Some of the pictures are just really pretty. And it was made by Whitman. And... Um, Lord, I don't know, 8, 10, 20, 30, I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to Google those dates, <laughs> I'm not good at, just, I used to be really good at the, at Roman numerals, but I'm not anymore, um, Christmas Carol Selected and Arranged by Carl Schultz, and then, uh, it just had some really pretty songs in it, and pretty pictures, um, I thought that would be pretty for giving something with, um, it's just really pretty. I love this Christmas religious stuff, and then the angels. But there was some, and then there's a little bit of color back here. And um, this was just talking about the old carols. It's kind of a pretty candle. So most of it was in black and white, but there was a few colored spots, and you see there's some ripping and tearing. But um, um, I love that. That was just a really pretty book, and I want to say probably like 50 cents, too. Um, and then I also got a couple uh, paper dolls. 
This was um, Mod Matchmates Paper Dolls, 1953. It was originally 39 cents, made by Whitman. And I just love the graphics. It just reminds me of Barbie dolls. And look at this cool vintage look here. These were actually opened and cut out. Which is fine with me. I played with paper dolls just about as much as I played with Barbies when I was growing up. I loved them. Um, and they're still really cute. There's the two girls. And they have a good bit of clothes in here. I don't know if it was everything. And they're stuck in there. But um, they're in really good shape. So I'm not sure if I will keep these or sell these. Or just most of my paper dolls that I have kept are in like uncut really good shape. But I... I have sold a lot in the past. I have sold a lot of paper dolls, cut and uncut. Um, but I just love those because that was just so cool. This one was one of my favorites. I know I've t I've talked about how I love the Topper Toys Dawn and uh, Dawn and Friends dolls. Well, um, they were made by Topper to compete with Barbie, and then um, after they came out and got r rather popular, Barbie came out with this. A six inch version of the doll itself and they were called the rock flower dolls the rock flower girls and these are some paper dolls um there was heather rosemary and lilac and i just love these cool that says 1956 but this was 70s so i'm not sure if that fit 1956 that just might be a number that's probably not a year but yeah because this is 1972 because that is very 70s, and these came out in the 70s, but look how cool. I think I have one of these. I think I have this one, and I have sold one of these before. Um, I don't really sell my topper dolls, although I have sold some and made a lot of money on them, but I usually keep them. But the rock flower, I have sold some of them because they're a little bit different. But these were also, um, she's in really good shape. Not really bent that much, you know. Usually they get a bent bend at the neck or the arm or something when you're playing with them. But there's a lot of a lot of clothes in here too, and then there's a lot that aren't that are still in here and not cut out. There's the other one, and there's the other one. They're in fabulous shape, fabulous shape for 1972, and to have been played with. Um, it looks like there's not even a lot of bends on the tabs, so you know they weren't really played with that much. See if I can fix this so I don't bend them. But I love those. I absolutely love those. But I think, like, like I said, maybe 50 cents a piece. So that other one, the uh, Matchmates, was probably 1972 as well. That 1956 is just like a catalog number or something probably. All right. And then um, a couple of things my husband got when he went thrifting for me recently. He went to an estate sale that I wasn't able to go to. And um, I no, I didn't. I just spilt all those, <laughs> almost all those poker chips. But he got this box of poker chips. I'm not sure what he paid for those. I'm not quite sure why he got them. Um, they're in pretty rough shape, and they're plastic. If you ever find poker chips that are um, clay, get them, because they're, like, worth a lot of money. <laughs> but let me get those out of my bowl. But I was so excited. This is what he found me. I've been looking for... Um, Butterfly Gold, the, the bowls. I'm thinking these are the uh, mixing bowls. Let's see. This is 403, so it's Pyrex 403. But it's in pretty good shape. It's still pretty shiny. Um, not a lot of scratches. He, he paid $5, which because he went on the half price day. Um, and he texted me first and said, are they worth that? And I was like... Well, it depends. I said if it's in perfect shape, yes. You see there's a couple little scratches there, but this is in actually really good shape. I haven't cleaned them up yet, but um, it's still fairly shiny. But I love it. I was so excited, and he also found the smaller one. Let's see. It's number 401. Um, it's in... It's weird. Like, this side is in really good shape, but then this side is a little bit not as it's weird how one side's a little bit as, as opposed to being like evenly used all the way around but this one he paid 254 but i was really excited i i wanted some um i wanted those for a while and so now i have a good start so that was great i was excited that he found those he also found this little guy this little girl here um she was 10 cents and the funny thing is he went 
Well, there was a third day. He went on the half price day, which was, say, like Friday, and then they had their last day was Saturday. Um, he got this stuff on Friday, and he said they had a bunch of these, and they were 10 cents. And I, and I said, well, why didn't you get a lot of them? Because those actually do sell fairly decently when you only, you're only going to pay 10 cents for it. Um, maybe like $10, $12, I don't know. And so he went back that next day, and he said they had all the rest of the cows were, were marked up to $2. <laughs> so they went from $0.10 cents on Friday to $2 a piece on Saturday. So I guess someone told them that they were worth more. And um, anyway, he ended up just getting this one. It's just, just a little green cow in her green, in her green jeans. And they're made by um, Cow Parade. And this is dated 2002. And they're like numbered and stuff. They used to be sort of a little bit collectible. Um, and of course that's not going to focus. But um, there's like a whole different, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, but she's in decent shape. I noticed she had a little bitty, little nick right here. But um, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to list her. Somebody might want her. She's cute. I mean, for 10 cents, you couldn't leave it, leave it there. And then he also got this camera. And it's, I'm not sure why, because it is really heavy. <laughs> um, and it's in this really nice, like, case that's like attached on the back um it is very heavy it's an instamatic kodak instamatic reflex camera it looks like it probably has a fairly decent zoom um but i'm he must he must not have paid much at all for it that's why he picked it up but it looks like it has it either is does i can't remember that's so old does, does that mean three pictures have been taken yeah because or three pictures are left. So it has some film in there. So I think it'd be cool to open that up and get that out and have it developed. <laughs> um, just to see what the pictures look like. But yeah, I'm not sure what he paid for it. Um, I can set the phone down and like show you how it like closes up. We'll have to guess, check it out and see if it works. Okay, but it like snaps in. And to take it out of the case, you, I guess, unsnap here and slide that that way. But these snap back on. So that's a really very nice protective case. And I guess you can sit it on a tripod. And so, yeah, we'll have to check that out and see how it works. If it does, I don't know. And then um, this Samsonite lug, uh, travel case. I found this when I was going through my Christmas and I don't know about you guys, but I've been go going through my Christmas the last few week, or in the last week, I guess. And I am absolutely, totally overwhelmed. Like, worse than overwhelmed. I have, I have way too much Christmas, and I don't even know where I'm going to put it all, because I don't even really have a lot of shelf space or cabinet space or whatever to put all this Christmas. Um, and a lot of it is stuff that I bought thinking I should and could have resold it and I haven't because I kept it for myself but I'm in the next two weeks I think I'm going to put as much of it out as I can and and then maybe make a couple videos and maybe try to sell some of it because <laughs> I am like so overwhelmed but I found this in the back of behind where I had some Christmas tubs stacked up and I thrifted this not last summer but the summer maybe two th maybe three summers ago so if I showed it before, I'm sorry, but I remember getting this case for like, um, I think I paid $5 for the case and everything in it from a yard sale when I was thrifting with my family. And it's a Samsonite case, and it's it's very rough, rough and, and dirty. Look at that dirt. But I am definitely going to try to clean it up. But it's supposed to have this two-tone look, even though it looks like dirt. But it's funny because he showed it to my, his mother when I got it, and she said she had the exact same case when she was younger for her makeup. Which was cool. Um, but let me show you what's in it. I just, I just remember a few things. I know there was this Barbie. And I remember getting her. She's a vintage Barbie. And I can't remember how old she was. Her hair needs a little work. But she had... I thought these were leather. These pants at first. But they're, they're pleather. They're fake leather. But I thought that was really cute. She has little cowboy boots. I want to say it seems like I googled her and I googled this outfit and that's why I threw her in because it was they were worth a lot. But these are really worn and it's almost like it will come off on you if it gets hot. You can tell by the ring finger that she's not 
that old. She's probably like seven. She's probably like seventies or late seventies. But she had her little shirt and a little vest. But I thought she was cute. I was gonna get her cleaned up. She came with her cowboy hat, um, which is actually really very nicely made. Um, let's see, I grabbed this. I think just because I wear these, and it was originally marked a quarter. It's just a headband. But um, I remember getting these really cute ceramic Lion King figures. That's um, Nala. So I love the Lion King. And I, I think there's a... No, though, that's Simba. Duh. That's Nala. But how cute are they? Um, they were made by Disney. It says China. But they're, they were really cute. And they were in really good shape. And I love them. Dis the Lion King is like my favorite Disney movie. But I love those. Um, I got some old May cards. It's kind of scratched up box in a kind of taped up box. But the cards, are, I think, I think the cards were in there. Maybe not all of them. Yeah, let me see. I just love old May cards. Well, yeah, there's not even that many in there at all. But they're just so cute. The pictures. Um. Now that doesn't look like old made. That says, that looks something different. I guess I just bought this thinking it is something different. You can tell by the backs. I guess I just bought these for thinking I would craft with them. And I love that one. He, I've seen that guy in other old made cards. And nowadays, I guess that would be inappropriate, but I don't think so. Um, anyway, those were just really cute. And I got, I remember getting this for a craft I was going to do. It's just a little broken um, stove. Like a little, um, uh, you know, house stove. Let's see. Oh, and these I loved. Hershey's chocolate syrup cards. I used to love this kind of chocolate syrup in the can growing up. We'd make some great hot chocolate with it. And I remember my mom or my dad would sit it on the stove to... To heat it up to make sure we got he got all the chocolate out. <laughs> I love those, but that's cool. And I remember I did count, and those were all in there. I've never seen Hershey's chocolate syrup cards before. And then the two of my favorite things in here. That, well, this went with the Barbie. This is just a little satchel, but you can see how it's really worn. I have to Google her again. I can't remember what that outfit was, but I want to say if it was in really good shape, it was pretty decent. But these were my favorite two little things that were in here. These little Christmas, or not Christmas, but Easter eggs with little bunnies in there. How cute are they? There was a pink one and a yellow one. Just thought those were precious. That one's got some tulips on the back, and let's see if they are marked anywhere. I don't think they are, but I just, I love those. So apparently I missed putting those out for Easter because they were hidden in this case. Um, oh, and then there's, there was this one little bag. Let's see. There's some, I think, just little cards in it. Just tiny little cards. Oh, these were like, I think these were, um, oh, what's the game? Oh, house of just tally cards. I forget the game name of the game, but um, I just thought they were pretty. Look at that, how pretty! I mean, that's gorgeous. They were just really pretty little cards, and I'm sure I got it for this pretty one right here. That's really pretty. Anyway, um, I think that's all for today. Pretty sure it is. Let me look around and make sure. Oh, my husband also got those. Uh, for 25 cents. We don't have a coffee maker that uses filters anymore, but I use those a lot when I'm doing ceramics, so that was nice of him to grab those for me, because that's like a life a lifetime supply <laughs> for a quarter. Um, that's it for this haul, so hope you enjoyed it. Give me a comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.